Measuring Up is a project conducted by a group of about 10 Kentucky high school students in 2021 through the Kentucky Student Voice Team. At the Kentucky Student Voice Team, we are young people co-creating more just, democratic Kentucky schools and communities as research, policy, and advocacy partners. Our project was focused on collecting student stories about measurement, assessment, and accountability so that we could inform education stakeholders. What is measurement? Measurement is the science of analyzing or studying what students need to know, how they need to learn it, and how they need to show what they've learned. Everything from examining the classes that schools offer to the methods that teachers use in their classrooms can be examples of measurement. Preparing students for the real world, making sure they are getting exposed to a wide variety of content, and appropriately assessing everything that they are learning are all important aspects of educational measurement. What are Kentucky students saying about measurement? Well, they should be learning something interesting too, I feel. Some things I have to do, I'm not really interested in. And it's not really fun because I'm not interested in it and stuff. Also, the social side. How to build your interpersonal skills and how to just be self-aware. That's something. I had a relationships class and that helped it. But that started a journey for me that's probably been more helpful to me than anything. What is assessment? The first thing that likely comes to mind when Kentucky students, teachers, and parents hear the word assessment is K-PREP. This state-normed test is taken by public school students starting in third grade every year in order to measure their mastery of the Kentucky academic standards. The 2021-22 school year marks the transition from Kentucky Performance Rating for Educational Progress, or KPREP, to the Kentucky Summative Assessment. Along with state-level testing for K-12 students, there are several nationally normed tests that students take. Two of the more notable assessments are the American College Test, or the ACT, and the Scholastic Aptitude Test, or the SAT. These tests are typically taken in high school and used for post-secondary admissions. Assessments also take place at the classroom level. There are two primary categories of assessment, formative and summative. Formative assessments measure how a student is learning as the learning is occurring, and summative assessments measure what a student has learned when the learning has ended. Assessment can take many forms and serve many purposes, but they are all centered around measuring student learning. What are Kentucky students saying about assessment? I feel like someone can be really smart, but just a horrible test taker. And I feel like it doesn't accurately show the knowledge and how intelligent a student is, because I know people that are really bad test takers, but they're very bright and intelligent. Yeah, I wish that they wouldn't have to push the test so hard on us. Our whole identity is not a test. What is accountability? At its core, accountability is a system of feedback. On the classroom level, it looks like teachers giving students feedback and grades on their work. At the state level, it can include things like accountability rankings and interpretation of K-PREP, or what is now called the Kentucky Summative Assessment scores. Ideally, accountability creates a system of checks and balances that help our education system function the best for all stakeholders. Each stakeholder contributes something to be measured and provides a form of feedback to the other stakeholders. What are Kentucky students saying about accountability? Every student has their own way of learning. Some people are visual learners. Some people can write notes, look at a PowerPoint, write notes, and learn like that. Some people, you have to sit down with them, break things down, explain it thoroughly two or three times, give examples, apply it, and that's okay because everybody, all of our minds are wired differently grades and standardized testing and all these state required things we have to do now, there's no other options available right now. So it's all we have, but there's so much more room for improvement that it just seems like we should just create an entirely different system. But I feel like we're always going to have this space initially about competing against someone, making sure you're somehow intellectually better, you're better than someone when it could be a system based on trying to always improve on what you already can do.